Tonight, some people in Pamlico County are concerned about their ability to travel at night. It's all due to a new ferry schedule for the Minnesota Beach Cherry Branch route. And News 12's Rebecca McGann spoke with the mayor of Arapaho. She joins us now live. And Rebecca, how is the schedule changing? Yeah, this is a temporary change that started last week. Now, the ferries here at Minnesota Beach Cherry Branch, the service stops at 7 p.m. now. This is for about six weeks. And in that week that this change has been made, um, Ken Heath has already had over a dozen people calling him concerned about the change. The new ferry schedule for the Minnesota Beach Cherry Branch route is set to last six weeks, with service stopping at 7 p.m. Arapaho Mayor Ken Heath has raised the alarm about closing the area's main highway. This is a negative effect on the people here in this area, a negative effect on the, on the Pamico County uh, as a whole. People have designed their lives to cross this ferry to get to the other side or the other side get to here. Not only will traveling at night take much longer, he says it will put a strain on people's wallets by having to pay for the gas to drive almost an hour around the river instead of taking a free ferry. In the week the new schedule has been in place, one restaurant has already seen fewer regulars. We get a lot of people that come across the ferry to come eat dinner and you know majority of it is after five. Then they got to worry about catching the ferry in time and then they got to drive around if they miss it and chances are they're not going to want to come back if they got to drive around. The North Carolina Ferry Division announced the schedule change on February 1st with interim director Jed Dixon saying, quote, this schedule realignment will allow us to run improved schedules when they're needed most in the busier months. On Thursday, I reached out to the ferry division to find out how much they expect to save from cutting the ferry route short. According to a spokesperson, the division projects to save $44,344 in both fuel and maintenance costs over the six-week schedule from this route alone. And this is just one of five ferry routes that have shortened schedules. But he still has some concerns. They're hurting us. Uh, the, the tax paying citizens by saying they're saving money. I, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see the reasoning behind uh, um, hurting the citizens over here from being able to freely travel their highway. Yeah, this is, again, a temporary schedule. It's set to last through March 25th, that shortened schedule. But after that, it'll go back, as of right now, to stopping at 11 p.m. Live in Pamlico County, Rebecca McGann for News 12.